Is this our first time doing Lou Reed? It is not. And I'm desperately trying to think of the name of the song. Um, Ain't it? It's a very popular uh, song. Uh, no. Uh, that's Louis Armstrong. Oh. Hey, they say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash. I'm sitting there thinking like, who knew? I know that you've seen us on Rappers React. They're talking about us on YouTube. Hollywood 6, it look like I do magic. Maybe he's practicing voodoo. I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention. Well, I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish. What's going on, everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers React. Smoke dog. What up? I got trivia. Oh, what you got? Let's see what I got for you today. All right. What U.S. state borders only one other? Mm. Only one other. Is it Maine? You are correct, my friend. All right. Okay. What product changed its original name in the U.S. from the Soundabout? The Soundabout. We all had one in high school. Maybe middle school, actually. Uh... A Walkman? There you go. Wow. Was really? a Walkman. That was a total guess right there. Yeah. All right. What is better than paper in the paper stone scissors game? What is better than paper? Um, scissors. You are correct, my friend. Mm -hmm. Let's do a quick would you rather real quick. Trash talkers, you guys let us know which one would you rather go with. Uh, let's see. Uh, wait, didn't I ask you that one already? Let's see here. Oh, wow. You want me to tell you what this question is? Right. I'm not going to ask you because just look. I don't know if y'all can see that. Ah, uh, y'all can't see it. Eh, too bright. It says... <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. What would your rap name be? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think I already got that one figured out. All right. Which piece are you when you play Monopoly? Oh. I always was the same piece. Uh, either the dog or the car. It depends on if somebody took the car first. I was always the iron. Oh, really? I, I love the iron because I just felt like I was ironing the board. I don't know. Trash I always wanted the car, but if the car was taken, i get the dog. Trash talkers. Y'all let us know which one y'all pick. All right. Let's see what we got here today, Smoke Dog. Um, uh, let's say you walk out your front door and you about to go, you want to go run your RC cars. And he's like, you know what? It is the blank for running RC cars. The best time? Better than best. Great. Just, it, bro, that is... Perfect? Perfect time? Uh, perfect day? You got it, my friend! <laughs> guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big favor. Y'all, please hit that thumbs up button. Guys, please subscribe to the channel. And for God's sake, leave us a comment. And tell us what to react to next. That's how we get the ideas for these videos. Comes directly from you right down in the comment section. And, and over on Patreon. <laughs> and today, we have another wonderful suggestion from one of our wonderful Patreon members who goes by the name of... Jamie, Jamie Walden. Yes. Mm -hmm. Shout out to you, Jamie Walden, because you are a loyal Patreon member, my friend. And Smoke Dog, is this our first time doing Lou Reed? It is not. And I'm desperately trying to think of the name of the song. Um, Ain't it's, it? It's very popular uh, song. Uh, no. Uh, that's Louis Armstrong. Oh. Um, dang it, it's the one about being in the Come city. Uh, I got you. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, Come pull on. it up. Let's see if you it can up. get it before I get to it. Come on. Uh, Welcome to Wild Side. I won't look it up. Yeah. <laughs> You can look it up to be sure that that's the only one we did. What'd you call it? Uh, take a walk on the wild side. Man, this is like old school, ain't it? Yeah. But don't he got one of them? No, that's Louis Armstrong. Okay, my bad. Red Roses too. <laughs> I love that song, dude. We've done Lou Reed. Yeah, walk on the wild side. Oh. Yeah. Take a walk on the wild, wild side. side. Yeah. Yeah, you were mesmerized by his voice. That is right. Hey, baby. Take a walk on the wild, wild side. side. Hey, child <laughs> turkey. <laughs> like, man, this is going to be a fun one here, yeah. man. What's crazy, you know, again, Jamie Walden, shout out to you for your love and support on Patreon. Guys, if you want to support us, the best way to do that is through Patreon. Later on that in the video. But mm -hmm. one thing about Lou Reed, like you said, I was going to, but I'm glad you refreshed my memory because I do remember his voice being something like, hey, baby, how you very, doing? Very Just laid back. Like, he'll pull yeah. any any dude's chick. You, yeah. could, you could be married to this girl for 13 years. He pulls over at the bar. Hey, baby, let me buy you one of these. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a dire straits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> nah, but Perfect Day sounds like a familiar name to me, man. Yeah. No? I don't know. I, don't, I can't think of it. Damn, per- I feel like... Perfect Day. Perfect Day. It sounds like it'd be a punk song from the 90s. Smoke dog! What up? Let's get into it. Ah, let's do it. I don't know if this is an album cover, but I, this was the same picture from the last one. Oh, was it? Yeah. Just a perfect day. Drink sangria in the park. God dang it, Jamie. And then later, when it gets dark, we go home. I was talking about this Bro, time. this might be my book. Just a perfect day. Yes. Feed animals in the zoo. Then later, a movie too. It's a perfect day. Oh. you said this is the perfect song but i I got one issue with it i know you're not a fan of slow slower music like i well no that ain't even it not for this man because i I was intrigued the whole time and i was all into it and and i like slow shit sometimes if if it's the right mood you know and especially a story that i can follow like this but all right follow me here Hell, Lou Reed sounds like he had some emotional issues, and maybe he was had a self esteem issue because he he met this girl right, and he went on this date, and he felt like it was the greatest time he ever had, right? Yeah, perfect day. And he said in there that you make me feel like I'm not bad, like I'm not the person that I think I am, you know. So he was all up, but then that last verse or outro or whatever you want to call it. He said, um, oh, you reap what, what you, you sow. sow. You're going to reap what you sow. 
Usually that's used in a negative connotation. Yeah, but why do we do that? It could be a positive thing, and maybe she reaped so much love in him that he's going to reap, like, hey, you you, you, you reaped yeah, this maybe, in me. Yeah, so he I'm could be saying it. it like that, like, oh, I'm going to give back to you now for, for the love that you gave me. And it could be a thing to where Lou Reed was probably just like, look, I gave you the first and second. I'm going to leave it up to your imagination on what happens next. Maybe it was like a Could part be. of his, like, dude, that's brilliant if you think about it. If he's like, you know, I'm going to give you the first and second. And mm-hmm. you you live you you live your life and finish out this song for me. Mm-hmm. Like, you complete the song for me. Yeah. I don't know. But look, I got to go on a tangent real quick. Jamie, I don't know how much you know me and how much I've speak spoken about you know my musical favorite musical taste on the uh, on this channel. I mean, uh, but this was a perfect song. And I'm gonna keep it real. Mm-hmm. I I know I, I know this song, and I don't know when Lou Reed passed or if he's still alive. I think I've seen him perform this live at a wedding. I really? swear to you, at I a wedding, s- dude. You know, you know my mama, uh, her friend from uh, Sri Lanka. Yeah, you've told me. They got, they in the big bucks. Yeah. And I remember them, it was a wedding that they had. And it, it was like, it was like in the city on this, in the, uh, like on this rooftop. They had like, they had like a, like, like, I mean, dude, it was like high class. And I remember this dude there, like, them rolling out the piano. And he came out just with an all black suit. Just a regular, you know, black suit, white shirt, black, uh, black tie. And he played this song here. And I remember because of the... You just keep me hanging on. It's like, it, Jamie, you like unlocked a memory. And look, I don't... I gotta see if this dude... <laughs> Hold on. You don't think maybe they just hired a pianist? Not them. They... <laughs> that, was, that was doing cover songs? Could be. That could be. But... Bro, even looking at him, just uh, the curly. Look, I have my. I when really. When did he pass? Uh, 2013, and I, I was a uh. kid. Like I might have been like 10 or 11. Huh. Dude, I might have seen this perform live, and Can't I remember they spent that kind of money. Oh, dude, they. No. Nah. I mean, Lou Reed's a big star. Yeah. Now. You you would have to shell out some bucks if you wanted them to play your Trust wedding. Trust me, they this couple. If he's they, open to doing that. First of all, they they rented out an entire. Atlanta. Yeah. The, I mean, if you could do that for a wedding, but I remember because yeah. it was like their 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 wedding dance, you know, like that yeah. one dance. He came out, and I feel like he smoked a cigarette, got a, <laughs> a a glass of champagne and some cake, and just said, "Thank y'all, I'm out." But I just remember that <laughs> you just keep me hanging on. And then my mom was like, "Yeah, that's that's Lou Reed." I was like, and it might have been a piano piano session. It might yeah. be. I just don't see the 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 wedding that I had, the people whose wedding it was. I don't see them paying for. Old Johnny Clintonburg. <laughs> well, the guy down at the, the musical uh, 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 university, whatever we, it, what do we got the the performing got, arts center? We got or something? the performance the arts center. Yeah. I mean, it could have been. I just know the husband. I mean, this guy was like big time, and you marrying a when. You, she, I mean, he flew with her whole family from Sri Lanka, you know, and that was like her favorite song, and like she's got big bucks, and it's, yeah, it's like look. Baby girl, I know this is your song. We're gonna have it playing. And imagine like the husband just he shows up to do it live, and that's a big surprise to her. <laughs> yeah. I I would not put this past this couple. Listen, Jamie Walden, I thank you for this because I I this is a song that I've been looking for for many years, and you have shown it to me again. So I'm gonna continue to jam it because <laughs> yeah. I love this type of music. Yeah, it's a great song. Absolutely. Jamie Walden, thank you so much for all your love and support on Patreon. Guys, if you want to support us, the best way to do that is through Patreon. It's only five bucks a month. It puts your video on rotation. It shows you what we're going to do the day beforehand. We got suggestions. We got threads. We just over there be talking all kind of crap. Hell, smoke your cigarette, grab you a piece of cake, get some some champagne while you're over there hanging out play at the Patreon. Piano. And play the piano, 100%. Mm-hmm. Also, guys, let us know what's next by Lou Reed down in the comment section. And with that being said, my name is Beringer Hollywood 6. Bye. I am Larry Smokey Ramirez Cowboy. And we are over and out. Douches. Yeah. You got to reap what you sow. I want to thank you guys for spending a little bit of time with us today. If you want to see the last video we did, just click right over here. Or if you want to see another artist that we covered, just click right over here. If you guys want to support the channel, please consider joining our Patreon right over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one. Deuces.